What is up? What is up? Two tips for improving your speed ramps in Premiere Pro. I'm doing this tutorial today because I recently learned these things, but also at the same time, I've learned all my stuff from YouTube. I'm self-taught and I thought it'd be a good way to give back to the community. The first tip's gonna be for when you speed up the footage, so how we make it look a little bit smoother, how to add a little effect to that, and then the second tip's gonna be for when we slow down the footage. So, let's go into Premiere Pro. So once you're in Premiere Pro, you're gonna load yourself up a clip. I'll show you mine. You're gonna to get to a point in the clip where you wanna cut it. Hit C on the keyboard, cut it. Hit V to get your mouse back. Right click on your second clip, speed and duration, and change the speed to 10%. Hit OK. Go a little bit further along the clip where you wanted to go back to normal speed. Hit C again, cut it, V. Hit that third clip, right click, speed and duration again and then change it back to 100%, hit OK. If I play this back to you now, you'll notice that in the middle, where it slows down, it gets really jittery. So what you wanna do, go to that middle clip, right click, hit speed and duration, and then change this frame sampling option to optical flow, hit OK. Now, if I play it back again, you'll notice that there still isn't a change. So what we need to do is render this part and render this track. Bring the playhead to the start of all of this, Hit I on your keyboard, and then bring your playhead to the end of this, and hit O on your keyboard, then hit enter. That's a lie, that didn't work. <laughs> hit sequence, go up to sequence, hit render into out. Sometimes when you hit enter, enter it works. After you've allowed it to render, you'll notice that the yellow bar on top has now turned green, and that when you play it, that slow-mo section's really smooth. Sweet, on to the next one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the speed ramp, but for when it goes faster. So we're going to pick a point in our clip where we want it to go faster. I'll play this for you now. Okay, so let's make it go faster here. C on the keyboard, cut it, hit V on the keyboard again, right click that second clip, speed and duration, but this time we want to change the speed to 300%. Okay, now what? I'm going to drag this out a little bit and I'll play that back for you now. Cool. So I want to pick a point where I want to bring it back to 100% because that's too long, that bit. So I want to hit it there, hit C again, same thing. Right click, speed and duration, change it to speed 100%. So this is what it looks like now. Cool. So in this part here, you can notice that the video is really jittery. I'll play it for you. And what we want to do is smooth that out. So we're going to go to that clip, right click on that, hit speed and duration, and change this part here where it says frame sampling down to, to frame blending. Then we're gonna hit okay. As you can notice at the top, the bar's gone red instead of yellow, and we have to do the same thing like we did before, and bring the playhead to before the clip, hit I on the keyboard, bring the playhead to after the clip, hit O on the keyboard, and then you can hit enter, or you can hit sequence, render into out. We'll let that render and then I'll show you the difference afterwards. Okay, we'll play that through again and you'll notice the difference. And that's it really guys, just simple tricks that can make such a big difference to your, to your work and to how it comes out in the end. They're really subtle, but they can make your work so much more dynamic, it's incredible. Either way, if you like these kind of edits and tutorials, please let me know. Um, if you wanna follow my work, the link will be in the description to my Instagram. And yeah, just let me know if you want any more videos and I'm hungry. Have a wonderful day, people. Papacito
my best sheets while you're skinning out with your big back and those nice lips. I could make you my wife here. 